From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America, where we continue day one at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. I'm Chris Hansen. He's Joe Stapleton. Coming up on today's show, Jennifer Tilly starts off stuck big time and Phil Helmuth raps. Nope, not a present, that kind of rapping. Please don't tune out. We continue day one. We lost a player. That means we're gaining a player. We say goodbye to Matt Glantz and hello, Dan O'Brien. I'd keep an eye on the short little stack of Phil Helmy. The chances are he's going to be all in sooner rather than later. <laughs> That'd be great if we could do one of those, like, being John Malkovich, but for Phil Helmy. And then I could, like, dive through this wormhole into your head. <laughs> it was, we were so much fun. It's a scary there. place. You have no idea. <laughs> it's a very scary place. You've got to be high and drunk if you get in there. <laughs> <laughs> to see the things I see, it would scare you, actually. You'd be like... You'd be like Oh my God, he's weak. Oh my God, he's strong. Oh my God, he's weak. You start winning all these tournaments and you're like, oh my God, being in Phil's Man. head is awesome. No wonder he wins so much. Oh, in it Phil's was, head, uh, he's winning in this game. I get it now. Cat got your tongue, kid? No, in Sorrel, it seemed like you had the seven of diamonds. What was that hand? Mm -hmm. Which, oh yeah, yeah, when I showed Phil. Yeah. Jennifer Tilly. That I had to let him get away. Oscar nominated <laughs> actress. <laughs> <Jennifer>. <laughs> you guys don't understand that. I know, it's the long con. Just aces. Really that really long is. con's been going on for a long time, Phil. What do you mean? You bluffed off a million. You bluffed off. You're so focused on that. What about, there's, I, I think million, I'm doing okay against you, Phil. A million. I think I'm million, doing okay against you overall. Lots of speculations on the monies I've made. Honeys I've slayed. <laughs> Don't mess with me. You can sing it Break all you want. That doesn't make it any truer. That's just not what happened. Oh. Not <laughs> <laughs> really uh, I think, uh, I don't know about a million, but I definitely bluffed it's off a, a little. You bluffed off a lot. Yeah. They're like tournament that. chips. It doesn't matter if it's a million. You messed with I, me that day. You messed with me that day. I let you win. I let you win. And then, boom, I shut the trap for a million. Yeah, you got me in a hand. You got me in a <laughs> yum, hand. Yum, yum. Yo, you had the <laughs> chip yum, lead. Yum, there were like, um, there were three hands left in the day, 111K buying them. All you had to do was sit back and play good. But no, you couldn't do no, it. I couldn't do it. So, no, it's no, no, I can't do it. I'm just going to try to bluff a milli to fill with three hands to go. <laughs> the one guy I know who just like, never folds. Well, man up and fall. <laughs> Sam was getting a so great price pre-flop, she called. Did you take it from him? And action flop, jeez. Uh, Holy was cow. He managed not to cash. He yeah. blames you it all on You were at the table Coleman. when I busted, Phil. You don't remember what happened? Like I remember what happened. Against King Ten. Yeah, Am I, I supposed I, to play that one differently? That hand you were supposed to lose. I was supposed what to about, lose because I was against Coleman? What about the previous Coleman? hour or two? I played well. Is it on me? Come on, that's the oldest tell in the book. What I don't understand is when there's like a, when there's like a $500,000 bubble. I don't understand why people don't play better. Like, Tilly bets 1,500. Get the 500K, kid. Well, and then what, start uh, gambling, you know? Like, but right. no, you just you want to like try to win the tournament. So I should have just uh, folded the queens on the button? Sam with a pair and a very good flush well, draw. Not the best flush draw, though. Lose. That was it. Jared's got that. He's not folding. <laughs> that hand and that hand only. Yep. If there were a whole card camera, like if I were in your mind, I would be like, fold, I'd be shouting, fold, fold, fold. <laughs> what are you doing bluffing off your money? <laughs> Jared might even be thinking about raising with enough flush draw. Sometimes it's I a quarter million myself. dollar bubble. What are you bluffing off your money for? You're relentless, eh? <laughs> You're like a migraine. Hey, he, when they start it, I've, I'm pretty good track record of finishing it. I'll tell you that much. And if you don't, you just kick a chair. Meanwhile, they tell me his mic's not even on. <laughs> Four on the turn was not the card Jaffe was you're... looking to hit. Yeah, they laughed at you. They got caught. Oh, they laughed? They laughed at you. Yeah, so what's so humorous Ops to the Three card. Cool. You had any idea what the truth was. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny, though, that they would laugh it off. Yeah. Jennifer should not be giving a free card in this board. You want some switch? For me. Any of these players could conceivably raise. Sam, maybe now. I'll never forget one of my first, actually my first tournament in the US we played together. And there was that hand where you raised with just looking at one card and it was the ace. And I led the, I led from the small blind. I had the nines, remember? And you wrote a blog about it. You didn't even know my name back then. You were like this online kid. Uh, you, wrote, you wrote a blog about one of these online megalomaniacs. And uh, 
I was that guy. It was nice. It was one of the most flattering things anyone's ever said to me about me. That was yeah. another one you played really well. It came ace, ace, nine, and I had an yep. ace and you had nines full. No, the you ace came those, on the turn. The you played those hands really good against me. I did. Just like the other one you were bragging about, it came king, king. Yep. I had a king, you had a king. You played that one great. That too. was beautiful. You really played those Maximum hands value. well. I got them all in. Memory, though, all the hands you played. <laughs> oh, I remember that hand. I remember the ace one. You remember that one? The ace was did on the turn. Did I come back and win that tournament anyway? No. That was the one Carlos won. This pot is getting huge. Thank you. And Jennifer uh, Tilly's got to be thinking, okay, what do I have to do on the river to get anybody away from this hand? She will be last to act, playing from the button. So let's see what happens here. What's going on here? Pretty good card for Jennifer. If there were some draws out there, they all missed. Yeah, somehow she faded it all. And I actually think this might check around. Obviously, Jared's just got a pair of fours, and I don't think Jen can really value bet. There aren't a lot of worse hands that I can call. Jaffe probably knows his pair of fours are no good at showdown, so maybe he tries to bluff this. No, he checks it. Three aces. Wow, That's the three aces. Aces. Jennifer, more like bride of Checky. I hated that flop. And then I get two callers on the flop and the third. She'll take the 19K instead of the value bet on the river. I feared a trap. That's all. So once again, Phil Helmuth says, screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> but after the break, don't worry, we're gonna fill his seat with a delicious dish of Alec Tiltarelli. Yum. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Cheers. Cheers. I know. We'll, we'll yeah. drink to that. Whoa. Cheers. Welcome That's back to Poker Night in America. Yeah. Everybody's I'm drinking. drinking. <laughs> Beverages <laughs> forever. Yeah. I drank it. They gave you the drink. I drank that one. You can drink it. They're, they're like, give the little one the beer. Thank you. Too many cares. That's two glasses for each glass. To you guys. And you know, they say a small black woman, like one drink is like two drinks. Oh, my God. Two drinks. Look at that. It's a salt lake. That was Patron too, you drank? I don't know, but I yeah, kind of like it. I don't it. like it. <laughs> <laughs> one more. You it was, it like was a big one, like huh? It. You have one more. Can, can I like straddle? It. I haven't looked at it. So it's too big. No I need more. Yeah. Right. Sam, uh, I don't know, but Ryan, another? <laughs> <laughs> Dan O'Brien must have fallen asleep in a beach chair. Lots of salt here. Thank you. Lots, lots. Seagull limps in with four deuce of hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Extra beefy. Great. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, we got some more cold deck in shaping up. They ran out. <laughs> this is a lot harsher than the one we had before. I don't think this is. Um... Aberdathy makes it 1100 with jacks. <laughs> it's, bo it's bottom shelf alcohol. It doesn't They're like, taste like eh? Those poker players are drunk yeah, they they'll never know. know. No, that's good tequila. You can tell because when the bartender dropped the bottle, it bounced off the floor. Like glance, it's burning me. It's burning my mouth. Wow, these two were involved in a cold decking last time. Kings versus aces, and last time it was Ben who had the better hand then. I don't think you have to go broke in this spot, pre-flop at least, but there's certainly no shame in just taking the thinking What's out of it. Abernathy calls. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be blood. I drink your milkshake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was good when there's some blood. Mm -hmm. A little blood's good. A little blood never hurt nobody. Nobody except the person it's coming out of. Well, that's not entirely true, but... Eight high flop. <laughs> Both these players oh, oh. love their hands right now. Yeah, yeah, it's a really awful flop for Sam. I do not see how she can fold. Kind of a dream flop for Jax, really. Here comes the bet from Ben. Oh, look who is joining. It's Torelli. It's is in the house. Torelli. Wow. I Let's gave Alec a lifetime free roll that if I ever up, open up an Italian restaurant, I'm gonna name a dish Tiltarelli. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> Thank you. That's true, and it's, I mean, it's one in 800 at this point. Tiltarelli ravioli. Yep, no, just Tiltarelli. 
Yeah, I'd like Tilt a how about some tortellini? Mm -hmm. You said I have a personal rule of not playing with anyone with a whole food bag at the table. That's scary. Still an undercard for Jax. Yeah, the poker gods really want like Sam to get stacked here. That's true. Mine's a little bit more. Quick. I need someone with like a McDonald's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. McFlurry with cup empty. Arby's. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hmm. I said it. I feel more chances are And they're all in for Tarzia. Sam's getting better than two to one. A call from Abernathy. You can't blame her. It's just another simple cold deck. Oh. Yikes. Oh. So that's twice now that Ben has stacked Sam. Really nothing she could do there. I mean, except for fold jacks like a terrible nitty nitty nit nit. And Ben Tarzia making the best of his spot here on Poker Night in America. No, Phil Hellmuth gone, Alec yeah, Torelli, much like yeah. Toll Booth Willie. He's coming out of the booth. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing commentary for the live stream. Now that's a bit of an unfair advantage, don't you think, Stapes? To now come and sit down and play with these players? I mean, it's an unfair advantage that he's so much better than everyone else, too, so. Yeah, that's true. But he got that the whole time. Oh, I thought you said it was out of Tilly. It's just not in my, I just don't play it, so I can't win that bet. I love watching Mike Siegel play cards. It's like every single hand he has just tortures his soul. Every single one of them. It's fantastic. I mean, probably not for him or his blood pressure, but for us, it's it's good to watch. We like the pain. What's that Howard Stern song? The silver nickels and golden dimes. Jen Tilly, like me, is a Howard Stern super fan. Hello, hello. I check. I'm gonna hear the rest of this song. Check. What? I'm gonna need to hear the rest of this song. Oh, Flush draw for Tarzia, Abernathy with top Nine. pair. Pretty good kicker, too. That old oh. face off. Nine. It's the song you wrote, he was like 10 years old or something. And then um, Jewel actually sang a beautiful rendition of it. It's yeah. like a great song. The torture to continues from Mike Siegel. Basically telling this little girl to come out and play with her and you'd pay her. No, I just think it's... A... <laughs> wondering if it's better to check. Oh man, flush of the turn. Ben Tarzia is owning Sam Abernathy like my brother gets owned by his wife. Sorry, John. I mean, I guess Sam's not drawing dead. Any heart can still hit. There's a bet from Tarzia, 11.25. They just got back from, I got a text from Phil. They just got back from surfing. You kept saying that. Yeah, I kept saying that. Top pair and a great flush draw. Don't see how she can fold. I don't need that crap, though. I see that. Yeah, that's <laughs> hard to tell, right? Why is Alex Rally drinking fabric that? softener? I thought that was a lava lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely hard. not real liquid. Oh, oh my back. Brick uh, for Abernathy. <laughs> oh, Sam. Ben's got a value bet this. Tarzia is hoping to take Abernathy to value town, and he does exactly that. Sam's given so much of her money to Ben Tarzia, his kids are gonna have to thank her in their college commencement speeches. He disappears for an hour. We don't know where he goes. Where does he? Does he go talk to his, an astronomer? Does he go for a drive? Does he get a haircut? Does he go for a run? Does he go to his room, take a nap? What is he doing? Sick. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night Last in America. Time. Like, he's not wearing band? pants, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, Joe Stapleton. Like 40 cents. Uh, I'm Chris Hansen. Uh, that's what it out. Back to Pope. All right, you want to do yeah, it for a quarter? They restrict yeah. my commentary. The straddle is on. Duff. This is a blind raise, ladies and gentlemen. Five years. You, you got 30 cents the worst. It's okay. <laughs> I'm always getting the worst of it. That's why I'm broke. Yeah. Some people don't have close families. Dan O'Brien makes it 500. A lot of Italians in Toronto. And Siegel yeah, promptly yeah. makes it 2,000. Where's your family from originally? Um, do you speak it at all? No. Yeah, see, my, my, my wife's Italian. Mia madre di Cosenza, mio padre di Catanzaro. Ah. What, what, what was that? Uh, I think it was Italian. You know, I thought uh, Ben Tarzi was scary before, but now that I know he speaks Italian, I'm wondering if we can go back and edit out that part where I said all of his hair is on the wrong half of his head. Is it too late for that? Beh, purtroppo potevo parlare pure romanese, perché la vita mia era costruzione. Uh, 
Uh, English only at the table, guys. They're probably talking about you, Steve. I feel like we're watching a scene from Godfather 2. I am tilted right now. I don't even know what's going on. Mizzy has kings. He called the raise, and now O'Brien gets out of the way. And back to torturing Mike Siegel. But I live there as well. Yeah. I have 350 cousins in Italy. I see his crush going to the flop. That helps. So we have a very big <laughs> Oh, but I forgot uh, all about him. I pay my debts. This nonno is in Napoli, and oh. this nonno is in Parma. In Parma. Bello. Mm -hmm. I bet exactly half of what I got. Oh, Lee Siegel yeah, can't do too line. much damage. Yeah, doesn't yeah. have much behind. Yeah. 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 I got a set of times. That's good for now. Mizzy moves all in, Siegel calls. You're not going to show me that? I'll show you. Nice, nice hand to come back to. I said it's king. Put an eight up there. King. Eight for justice. How about a king? Why would you root for an eight? How about a king? No, I didn't want <laughs> to get win the too power. greedy. You got to split it with me, you feel bad for me? Yeah, why not? That would seem like a nice guy. That's, that's a nice guy. I, I actually I'm meant to like the same. I'm kind of like the same. Now you would have had the. I'm going to do 30 I'm seconds to pass I'm basically going to do everything. Yeah, yeah well, like you would have had 30 yeah, seconds to pass of it. I was going to give you the opportunity. Like, uh, uh, we yeah, you yeah, deserve I just went to go for like a week or yeah, two. Yeah, I went to Southeast Asia or whatever, right? Like, I'm not going to pay. That was the only time where, like, it didn't default fall into that. I didn't oh, even know so about it. Oh, it's $400. 400 So it is folded around to Tilly, so that blind raise is in play for 400 I don't know what you're going to do, Jen, but I know you're not going to fall. What about you? You've been outside? It sounds okay. like you know about them. No, I mean, I, I have friends from high school. Uh, I, live in, I live in Seattle. I was going to get all uh, feisty. Dan O'Brien taking a I shot that King Queen is better than <laughs> any <laughs> random blind raising hand, but it know. is I not. Is, I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe. I possibly have a better hand than you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'll say no more. Anything's possible. Power six, four of them, um, they're all su very successful, too. Wow. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, like probably four of them lived on like Gold Coast, Australia for like two years oh, yeah, after Black amazing. Friday. Um, they lived in Thailand and Phuket. Yeah, that's yeah, like amazing. Four of them read to the place in Phuket for like three 1300 years. 1300 from Tilly? And so, yeah, it's crazy from just from one With the best one graduating class. I have a good friend of mine that spends six months of the year in Phuket. He goes to Phuket, Cambodia, Thailand. I'm glad they're pronouncing um, it Phuket so we don't have to bleep it. Year there. He rents a, this house on, on the water, like, unbelievable. O'Brien calls. 700 bucks a month. They yeah, live like, like king. A month. Yeah, bucks the hour you earn is not that good it. today, Jay. Yeah. What is that? I said the hour we earn is not that good today. No. Yeah, it looks like Jen may just want to get the showdown now, unless she makes her straight. It could be worse. It was worse before, right? Yeah, I was stuck. I was never that crazy. 500 a month. Yeah, I played so many bad hands. Your last hour was a good hour. Yeah, I was just <laughs> limping and limping with a lot of bad hands just to try to get Dan O'Brien trying to swipe this yeah, pot. Uh, I really hate to get more stuck at the end of the night. I'm pretty that sure I have the best hand. Best of luck. <laughs> Jen does have the best hand, but not only does she have to think about calling here, but the river, too. If I don't have the best hand, outs up the wazoo. <laughs> what could you have? It could like, be the best and outs. Is this the end of the night? Is this the last hand? No. I don't Dan's so. going to fire the river a lot, especially, I think, when Jen shows this much weakness. I wish I was in position. God. I just know. I just know. I just know, I just know I'm going to suck out on you. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think suckage is necessary. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, so you have the best hand, hand and you want to suck out? That's hard to do with one hand, Jack. For once, I agree with Mike Siegel. Does that scare you? I'm a little bit more confused than scared. Yeah. <laughs> a million. I see what could be that good and have outs. And have the best hand. That's what she, she didn't have to suck out either. Like, 26, you say? Four, five, yeah, there's a lot of ways to do it. In France, there are different actual models. And then I know on the river, regardless, everything's going to go in. So, how much you have, you'll have left? Like 3,000. I have like 4,000. I have, I think about, I have about 4,000 more after. When it gets exchanged. I have like, actually like 42. I mean, but that doesn't influence play that much either. 
doesn't influence play, but it's absurd. 44 that, million. Like, the government thinks they have yeah. to legislate like poker. Oh, Jen Tilly. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I am surprised that worked after all the deliberating, but hey, what do I know? I eat the heads off fish. That's you know, she did have the best That's hand, though, to be yeah. fair. Do you have that, that good end has yeah. Well, Jennifer Tilly managed to pull her stack out of the toilet. Now, if only she could do the same thing with the Rotten Tomatoes score for Johnny Be Good. All right, we're going to check out chip counts next. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Here's who's up and down for the night. Just to review, you do want a green little arrow next to your name. Even if you're Mike Siegel and you're up a measly hundred bucks, it's still a win. I'm sure he'll take it. Sorrell won 16K, he barely played a hand. Guy is slick. So this, by definition, would be the arrow you don't want next to your name. Red is bad, and Phil Helmy's done a short time at our table. Drop 15K. Probably hurts, I bet. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure if Phil's that dialed into reality. Well, congrats to Tilly for climbing a little bit out of the huge hole that she was in, but uh, poor Phil Helmuth. Number one comes in last. Next time, we've got a fresh new lineup for you, my babies. One that includes a lock, a locky, two November Niners, a grill, and a guy named Bone. No, it, it's Bon. His name is Bon. Well, I'm so excited for next week. I've got a giant boner. You are something else, my friend. More from Poker Night is available online at PokerNight.com, or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time right here on Poker Night in America. You'd be like, oh my God, he's weak. Oh my God, he's strong. Oh my God, he's weak. You'd start winning all these tournaments and you'd be like, oh my God, being in Phil's head is awesome. No wonder he wins so much. <laughs>